the session for everyone because even i come to know few parameters few things just before a few days uh, there are a lot to learn lot to know lot of non awareness is there on this parameter on this virus uh, let's go on so disclaimer the information and statistics provided here are latest with respect to the time of publishing this document and are evolving with the time it is advised to look up on relevant resources for updated information because the information is keep on updating so today is october 2023 it can change in next month also few parameters so let's see the incidence rate you see in 2018 the number of death cancer rate is high in breast cancer and next to it oral cancer and then it is cervical cancer this uh, all over the global as well as in india death you see the number of death rate almost 7 lakhs 84000 people have died due to cancers but you see now in india <clears throat> in 2022 this data is up 2022 almost 51 crore people are uh, women are at risk and annually every year 1 lakh 23 cases new people are being identified as cervical cancer and 77348 deaths are occurring in india which is almost equally contributing 23 percentage of the numbers happening in the worldwide that is 23 percent contribution from the globe india is the number one actually in cancer wise highest positive rate highest death rate so what is cervical cancer what is happening here so the problem is the cervical cancer is caused by a virus called human papilloma virus which is transmitted through sexually sexual activities you see this is the cervix generally every woman can see this vagina whereas the cervix is inside it this cervix is being normal people will have this way healthy people when there is a viral infection is occurring then the viral will start to invade into the tissue and it will completely it will occupy the cervix region so let's see here how this hpv spreads so hpv can spread through vaginal anal or oral sex with someone who has the virus it is most commonly spread during vaginal or anal sex and it also spreads through close skin to skin touching during sex even if you don't do in, uh, don't do intercourse still if you have had done completely close connections are there then still the chance of transmitting this virus is there so next question is is the viral only transfers through the sex that is the myth actually but recent studies are finding identified that this virus also can pass through a fomites what is fomites for example if a person is having hiv viral infection and if is viral is there in the hand because after uh, urination he may not clean properly then the viral may be there in his hand then the virus is kept when the fingers of the person get inf who is infected is kept it in anywhere in the door or any table or uh, especially on the door cupboards the virus can survive there the virus can survive up to 7 days even in spite of uh, uh, what are the cleaning methods you do unless until you do clear disinfection the virus can survive and the virus is very resistant to most of the sunlight and other factors it can be just dominantly silently it will be there so through this method also this virus can transfer my question is how a first male person got this infection it is a, i am a virgin how do i get this virus if i i never did any sexual activity still i got this infection how it is possible for them this answer will be helpful so who are at risk nearly everyone gets contracted with hpv every woman every man in india when the worldwide they get infection of this hpv uh, the it creating almost second leading cause of female cancer in india and second most common female cancer in women aged 15 to 44 years the death due to cervical cancer are three times more than the maternal deaths that is during the childbirth the death rate is occurring no so more than that three times it is higher in the cervical cancer deaths so what is the reason how for female this is happening the female vaginal hygiene is most important which is followed by many people few people may not follow 
and few westernized culture has been introduced in india which leads to some other factors like using dodging is a french word dodge means it's a wash or soak they use a liquid to clean the vagina after sex to make sure there is no odor for some other activities <coughs> and they do use uh, thongs uh, and uh, scent fabric softeners fabric perfumed tampons or sanitary napkins these are all the factors behind this kind of infection can prolong for longer term so let's learn some signs about the hpv what is this virus so as i explained already hpv is a human papilloma virus which is creating infection in the cervix region you see how the cervix will look like so this virus is a small non enveloped dna virus which infects skin or mucosal cell and the genome size is only 8 kb it means around 8000 base pair only and more than 200 known genotypes are there there are more than 200 genotypes of hpv one virus but almost 200 types are there in which the major types are like 13 24 are high risk genotypes which causes cancer and there are 10 low risk genotypes are there which not can, causes cancer but it can cause a genital warts so let's see what is genital warts what is cancer how it can go into cancer then what about remaining genotypes so there are 200 genotypes are there but only 24 are possible to cause cancer and 10 can cause genital warts so remaining other than this 34 almost 170 genotypes will not cause cancer will not cause genital warts it will just infect and it will naturally cure no need of treatment also it will naturally we will get infection but we will get normally cured after one year or six months we may not have any symptom at all that is the advantage and disadvantage of this virus the advantage is some viruses are very easy to cure some genotypes are very difficult to cure especially the genotype like 16 and 18 causes 70 percentage of the cervical cancers worldwide but you see in india so there are other genotypes like 16 and 18 can cause cervical cancer penile cancer oropharyngeal cancer that is oral cancer 18 also can cause cervical and oropharyngeal cancer but 31 33 these other genotypes can cause cervical squamous cell carcinoma oral pharyngeal and the lower risk as i said is 6 and 11 can cause just benign genital wars or oral hyperplasia so these are the genotypes majorly related to symptoms and other factors <coughs> You see, people who have non-science background will con get confused. What is this genotype? Why this number? Virus is virus. You see, just for your understanding only, I kept this image. Every virus is looks same, only the color difference. Same way, viral will have some protein mutations will be there. So based on mutation, uh, database has given the uh, sequences. Based on that, the genotype number has been given. So that is the reason right now it is 200. After one year, it can become 240 because every new research identifies new genotypes and new genotypes can cause cervical cancer or not. That research is all going on. So as I said, this 16 and 18 is in India, 83% of cervical cancer because of the 16 and 18 and 90% annual genital wars because of the 6 and 11, which is non-cancer ca causing types. So why my immunity doesn't save me from this cancer? Why should I go for test and treatment everything? My immunity cannot save me from this infection. The problem is this virus evades the immune system. This virus does not cause cell death, which means that the immune system is not alerted. In the cell, the HP virus hides while multiplying. HPV infection occurs locally at the cervix. Therefore, no presence of the virus in bloodstream. So what happens, the viral infection occurs only in the cervix, it will not invade into the bloodstream also. It just be there inside the cell and it will not even kill the cell. It will just grow, multiply, multiply. That's it. So hence there is no proper antigen presenting cells will not be there, no inflammation, no attraction of immune cells. So local immunosuppression will happen. So there is no viremia. Viremia means blood will not, uh, virus will not move into the vir uh, blood. So this is how a normal cell will look like in the cervix region. When a normal cell is like this, after infection, the epithelium will become like this. So virus will be there in every cells. And if you see the normal and grading will give in the LBC PASME reports, 
how the normal cells will look and how a condition of serious condition means almost all the cells become cancerous and partial or means it's a initial stage that's why grade one grade two grade three they give cervical intraepithelial neoplasia seen value so actual culprit is male but the sufferer is female that is the actual fact so male gets more infection especially in the age of 22 24 years you see 60 percent of male gets infected with this hp virus at the age of 24 and you see in 30 34 it is 70 percentage at 2 40 44 also it is 70 percent of infection for male only but female percentage is very low <coughs> up to 45 it is 40 percent people have chances of getting infection but the infection comes from male to female maximum vice versa is also possible so what are the signs and symptoms at early stage actually there will be no sign no symptom that is an advantage as well as a disadvantage where we will feel nothing i'm normal completely normal why should i test for this and in advanced cervical cancer stage where the bleeding will be there discharge from the vagina will be there you see what are the symptoms if it's the early stage when a woman having vaginal bleeding after sex or menopause or if the regular period are longer than heavier than normal women who suffer from vaginal bleeding between the periods that means normally period will happen in uh, first five days and then they will be normal after 10 days again they will get bleeding and after uh, two days they will get normal and again they will get um, you know, a menstrual cycle so these people are early stage possibly though uh, it can be in other factors also but these are all major factors the order of vaginal discharge is stronger or contains blood if the woman feels so much pain during sex that is also a one factor you have to think about it so whereas in the advanced states where the cancer is already there pain will be there in the bubble and bleeding from the rectum will be there that is during motion you will get blood when a woman experiences a pain while passing urine when there is blood in the urine also a recent symptoms if a woman experiences abdominal pain or fatigue consult the doctor for sure so the problem here now hpv virus causes cancer but there is an another factor like it will cause financial stress psychological stress also how the major problem is the viral infection occurs at the age of 35 to 55. And you see the number of death rate is more among the age group of 35 to 55. So if a woman who is at the age of 35 to 55, 60, these are the people who are working, who are needed for the family to make their child grow, to make their family settle, to make their uh, children get study, education, higher level, marriage. So many factors are there. When people are getting infection at that age and that situation, which leads to major financial distress and loss of monthly income, they will have more multiple failure problems. This related to creating a stress among all the family people. So now let's see what is genital wars. Will they become cancerous? Everyone is saying genital wars, genital wars, how it looks like. So now I'm going to show some uh images which may be hurting for some people you can skip if you don't want to see so this is a genital lot of female so how in a vagina how the genital wart will be like so it will be like cauliflower like shaped several warts will be there in major region the bulging of the vaginal region can occur this leads to itching discomfort and bleeding after intercourse whereas in the male this viral uh, can cause a cancer lead to this kind of lesions and in anal also it can cause whereas the genital warts like same like in male the female uh, female the male will have genital warts like this in the penile region uh, under the arm so these are the warts this is how warts so people may who never hear about this name warts warts this is how the warts will look like Whereas this is very crucial to see, you see it is oral cancer. This cancer will look, flower-like growth will happen and you see the bulges. I'm just, even I am myself a little worried on to see that. So that oral cancer will be more painful and people are not bothered about it because of non-awareness. <coughs> so oral cancer actually causes due to HPV infection during oral sex, anal sex, anal to oral multiple partners or in single partner or many factors are there even finger so many reasons behind it so anyway the virus binds with the cervical 
and uh, oral uh, mucosal cells, then they start to grow. So how do I protect me and my family? That's my next question. You just think, if you have a car or bike, if you just do 2,000 rupees for a maintenance service, then the bike or car will go fine. Otherwise, you need to spend almost 2 lakhs to repair, which is better. The same with cervical cancer, instead of doing a treatment, do a screening and do a vaccination. So WHO says 90% vaccination, 70% screening, 90% treatment by 2030. This is the guideline by the WHO. But the problem in India is, you see in the Western world, almost 50 to 90% of vaccination is there. 80 to 90% screening is there. 80 to 90% treatment is there. Whereas in India, only 1% vaccination and only 3% screening and only 10% of treatment is going on. Because the identification itself is not there. People are not ready to come for a testing. And doctors itself, doctor themselves, may, some people may not aware of it. Unless until they come to a cancer stage, these people are not being identified by the doctor. That's the problem. So next. Vaccine is the gold method. Instead of treating, find a treating, you protect yourself. That is the best way. Prevention is better than cure. So vaccine is the best method to protect ourselves from this kind of infection. But still vaccine is not 100%. I tell you why. <coughs> Sorry. None of the vaccine can cover all the 200 genotypes. Vaccines can cover only the major genotypes like HPV 16, 18, 45, 33. So still the chance of getting other genotypes are there, but they may not cause cancer. That's the reason vaccine is more useful. Something better than nothing. So that way the vaccine is very good. And the vaccines imported in India, recently Serum Institute, they developed an in-house vaccine in India, we developed. So right now in India, four vaccines were there actually, but Serva has been withdrawn by GSK in India by 2020. So only three vaccines right now. This Servavac is new from Serum Institute. You see the Gardasil and Gardasil 9. It means Gardasil means it will cover only two genotypes, 6, 11, 16, 18, four genotypes. Whereas Gardasil 9 will cover 6, 11, 16, 18, 31, 33, 45, 52, 58. Nine genotypes. That is the advantage. The cost of the vaccine also differs. This will be Gardasil will be 2000, whereas Gardasil 9 will be cost of around 7000. One dose. You need to take minimum two to three dose of the vaccine. Whereas Servavac is a two dose vaccine, which covers four target, 6, 11, 16, and 18. So this vaccine will be very useful. It needs right now three dose, but the research is going on to reduce to two dose or one dose also possible in future. So this is they were launched in India. And as per the data, <coughs> vaccine is best at the age of 11 to 12 years. And it is supposed to be given to both male and female, not only for female. Because male is the major culprit who behind this transmission of virus to a female. But male chance of getting cancer is less compared to female. The reason is immunity and the binding efficiency not any gender bias. So what happens as per the data, nine to 15 years of every woman or um, baby girl child or male child should get vaccinated. So the younger the age, the better the response. So that is the guideline says nine to 14 years also should take two doses, whereas 15 to 26 years, three doses. The reason why they mentioned 26 years, <clears throat> it is a myth. Uh, people who are not married have never have a sex. But it is not right. That, that is not a fact right now in India. It, not in the India, everywhere. So technically, people who have not exposed to intercourse, they can take vaccine first, primarily, to avoid. It means this vaccine will develop antibody against this virus. So if you encountered a virus with HP 16 or 18, you will get cured easily. Uh, your antibody immunity will be st st strong enough to fight against the new invasion. Whereas, if you are not vaccinated, the viral will not elicit the immune response. 
and it will take time the problem is this viral will not cause cancer in just one month or one day or two months it will cause cancer only after two years or three years the viral infection takes minimum one year to maximum three years to develop it to cancerous stage that's the problem here so next is this is the primary prevention is vaccination <coughs> the secondary prevention is screening that is what we are completely lacking in india where nobody is ready to test themselves for this virus infection or the cancerous uh, cervical scraping guideline says every woman up to 21 to 29 can go for pap test for every 3 years and 30 to 65 years old they should take both pap test and hpv test now let me tell you what is this pap test hpv test so what is diagnosis of cervical cancer pap test is a papanicolaou test which is a scientist developed and lbc is a recent advancement liquid based cytology whereas hpv pcr test is a pcr based test and now let me tell you why which is good and why you see the slides of this is a pap smear this is a lbc what happens in pap smear they take by a cell supplied from cervical mucus directly rubbed onto the glass and it will be absorbed in a smear so even the blood also will be there <coughs> whereas lbc means they collect in a brush with the, and they will dilute in a liquid so the cells will be very sparse and you can see the cancerous cell very nicely so advantage is lbc is better compared to pap that is the current methodology which is being going on then why should i go for pcr so you see lbc plus hpv testing is now well renowned recommendation for screening of this cervical cancer why either lbc is okay or hpv pcr is okay why should i do both now i coming to the point so the point is this lbc can detect any cells which has a cancerous pre cancerous cells cancerous or pre cancerous that means almost about to nearby cancer stage only you can detect but pcr test can detect if you have the viral infection but still it is not developed into cancer stage still the pcr can detect the virus it means if pcr is positive doesn't mean that the patient will be cancerous they are in the early stage but if pcr positive lbc negative means early stage if pcr positive lbc also positive then they already attained the cancer stage <coughs> that's the logic so then lbc pcr is so when you do both together you can know the current scenario whether patient is having viral infection alone or they have viral infection plus cancerous or not that is the condition behind it so what is the bottleneck here hesitation dilemma why when how it means why should i do i am feeling okay if it is become can positive what will happen so like many confusions will be there among the women and men now the how doctor will do this test so doc, this is the tube bottle they will have a fluid and this is the brush they use to collect the sample so they will use a speculum they will ask us to lie down like this and they insert the speculum and they will insert this brush inside here because the cervix is here what we see outside is vagina but inside the only cervix is there so in the cervix region they will rotate like this and the cells present in the cervix will come into this and that will be posted here in the bottle which having is a uh, liquid that has a medium to transport and it contains the cell uh, integrative materials so <coughs> how should i go to doctor for this test so every woman will feel bad uh i am feeling not comfortable to do this test when i am feeling no symptomatic why should i do this kind of risk so that's the major question among the problem uh, in indian women and which leads to see out of 100 patient only five patient may have cancer but 95 will be normal but once you test yourself you will be confident okay i am normal i am healthy happy that happiness you will get so for that you need to test for sure so is it possible to do this test at my home without a doctor recommendation till 2 years 1 year back it is no but right now lifestyle introduces 
India's first heart form cervical cancer screening test. And it is already launched in last year. And WHO also recommends this, this method of self-sample collection will be very useful to reduce the positive rate because this is the second most common cancer. You, if you go to Life Cell website, you see this link and you can see the website. You can add, it's like now Flipkart, Amazon. You can add this test and you can go for the self-sample collection. Now I'm going to show you how to do self-sample collection. So will this test detect all the cancer causing HPV? Yes. <coughs> you see, our PCR report will give you coverage of HPV 16, 18, which is major cause, 45, and remaining other high risk group of 26, 30, 31, all these 21 genotypes. So we are the only people in India where we detect 24 high risk group, whereas multiple labs will do only 14 high risk group because that is the WHO old method, old recommendation. Right now, 24 genotypes are recommended. So we are covering 24 high risk group at a single stretch. So how do I collect my sample? Now let's go and watch this video. Now. So I have to present my complete screen, right? Now you can see my screen, right? Is this a video visible? Uh, you can stop this video. I will present. Okay. So you are going to present it? Yes, doctor. Okay. Thank you for choosing Life Cell. I think on stage only this has been there. We are glad that you are taking charge no. of your sexual health. In this video, we will guide you on how to collect a vaginal swab yeah, now it successfully is. at the convenience of your own home. In Thank you for choosing life. Yeah, yeah. Now you can play. I think it's yeah. working. Of your sexual health. In this video, we will guide you on how to collect a vaginal swab sample successfully at the convenience of your own home. Inside your kit, you will find a cervical brush, collection cup, biohazard bag, declaration form, hologram sticker, return envelope, and a vaginal swab collection manual. Before you begin, make sure to read all the instructions on the manual carefully for hassle free sample collection. And also, it will answer all of the questions you may have. You should take the sample two days after your period ends and take the sample after 48 hours in case of engaging in sexual activity or use of any vaginal cream or gel. Now let's get started with the sample collection process. First, fill in your name, CRM number, date, and time of sample collection in the space provided on the collection cup. Wash your hands properly before proceeding with the sample collection. Remove the cap of the collection tube and set it aside. Now, remove the cervical brush from the package carefully without touching the tip of the brush. Place yourself in a comfortable position and gently insert the cervical brush approximately two inches or five centimeters inside the vagina and rotate the brush five times. Make sure it touches the wall of the vagina. Now remove the brush carefully without touching the skin outside the vagina. Carefully push the detachable brush with the help of a remover tube inside the collection cup filled with a solution, discard the handle of the brush. Make sure not to touch the bristles of the brush. Ensure to secure the cap of the collection cup tightly. After collecting the sample, make sure to wash your hands properly with soap and water. Place the HPV collection cup inside the biohazard bag and seal the bag. Do not remove the absorbent pad from the biohazard bag. Now take out the declaration form and fill it. Once filled, place it back inside the envelope. Now lift and remove the tray from the kit box and discard it. 
Place the HPV collection cup and sign declaration form back in the kit box and close properly. Now firmly paste the hologram sticker on the opening flap to ensure safe transit of your sample to our laboratory. Once pasted, do not reopen the box or peel off the sticker. Now place the kit box inside the return envelope. Ready to ship your sample? Log into your dashboard and schedule an at-home sample pickup by LifeCell. You can arrange same-day pickup Monday to Saturday by requesting pickup before 11 a.m. Have further questions? Write to care at lifecell.in or call us at 1-800-266-5533. Okay, how hope now everything visible for you all. Fine. Uh, am I audible now? Yes, doctor. Okay. So, so this is how the self sample collection is possible through live cell. Now let me uh, show you how do I get my report and how do I report interpretation. Now I'm going to share my screen. So my screen visible, right? Yeah. Yes, okay. okay. It's visible. See, this is how your report will look like. So after you collect, collected your self sample collection, it is sent to live cell. Within 24 hours, the moment the sample received at the lab, within from the time of receipt at the lab, you will get it in 24 hours. You will get the report. And the report will have the patient name, age, date of birth, all the factors, sort of the sample type, CR number, collection date, everything will be there. If you provided any history, that history will be there. And if you have any symptoms like pelvic pain, unusual general bleeding, everything will be there. And in the result, you will get a report like this. <clears throat> if a patient is HPV 16 positive, detected HPV 16. And if it is obviously HPV 16 positive, it means high risk also positive. That is the logic behind it. If it is HP16 is negative, or you see, you can see here, we have two groups. And actually, one will have an understanding. HP16, 18, 45. We will give you a specifically report, whether it is 16 or 18 or 45. If all these three is negative, if any of the virus genotype like 33, 34, 35, 670, 97 is positive, then we give the report like other high risk group positive and major risk is negative. So technically, if major risk is negative, you are more safe. This other high risk group positive will be cured naturally also, but still you need to go for pap smear uh, LBC test to confirm the cancerous pre cancer cell presence or not. If it is negative for LBC, then the treatment is nothing. The clinician will recheck after every three months or six months for any development of cancer solution. If otherwise, you may get naturally also cured. But the chance of getting cancer is there for this 21 genotypes. That's why it is called as high risk, other high risk group. But still, based on the immunity of every individual, the viral can get normally self-limiting also possible. So this is how the report will look like. So this is our smart report. You will get every patient will get in your mail and WhatsApp. And you see all the details, how it looks like. Anybody with basic understanding of science knowledge can read and understand. So we have given all the information, what are the risks, what covered, detected, or what do you mean by not detected. So we have processed around almost 100 samples of these online samples. Out of 100, only 20 patients found to be positive. And out of 20, only 5 to 6 are positive for HPV 16 or 18. Remaining are positive, uh, 14 positive for HPV, uh, other high risk group only. So uh, remaining 80 people are negative, which means they are all very happy. But the 100 patients who are given the sample is having some symptom. So they had an idea of this test based on uh, Insta and Facebook, other social media, they would have understood about this test. And they given the sample, self sample collection from their home and we got this result. So what I'm saying is a percentage level. <coughs> okay. So next, I would like to present about, uh, if you go to live cell portal, you can get enough other tests also. It's not only HPV, we have STD tests 
other other than hpv there are so many other sexual transmitted diseases also can be screened ova score sperm score is also there and for male and female specific test also there gene pass so these tests you can test check you can go through and you can understand from this health check from the life cell if you just go to life cell portal website you can find this website this will be useful for you all now i am coming to slides so uh, now my slide is visible right okay yes so okay. what about for a male now the next question will be okay sir i am a, you are now till now you are explaining only for female what about for male so for male actually for a few tests two sample types are preferred number one it is urine you can send urine sample for hpv test for male if you have urine uh, irritation itching or any penile related pain often you are getting some infection in the penis or genital warts are there then you can give uh, urine is a primary sample type next sample will be like a genital swab also you can give if you have any lesions that also you can send to our lab online also possible but right now it is not launched that test will be launched shortly but you can contact us for any queries if my test found to be positive what should i do next so the majority of hiv infections are as i already explained it is self limited asymptomatic and it can be uh, naturally uh, cured by your own immunity itself but if a patient is having any 16 or 18 45 positive and lbc need to be tested next that means another test lbc pap smear test will be done uh, so in that if capri cancer cells are identified then immediately you need to connect to a clinician so based on the report clinician will start a treatment surgery or radiation therapy or chemotherapy depends on the requirement and depends on the condition of a patient it varies this is the who cancer american cancer society suggested uh thank you so much so we are life cell accredited for cap and all other and nabl and other international standards and november 17th is is cervical cancer elimination day and i thank you once again everyone these are my team without my team i am uh, nothing here i thank you once again alone we can do so little together we can do so much thank you once again guys and i want to uh, stress again today is a uh, uh, no bra day because the breast cancer is the first uh, cancer ta- number one cancer death because of breast cancer in india so to create an awareness among the women and the men this no bra day has been uh, installed by the, the cancer society so october 13 today i am happy to introduce you this also to have a knowledge about the breast cancer so we will discuss about this breast cancer next time about the possibilities of treatment and diagnostics thank you once again so now let me go for any questions if any i hope you had understand about the cervical cancer hpv virus how it transmits how it can transmit for both male and female what is genital warts all this you would have understood better if anyone is having any question they can type their question doctor will answer yeah i am ready to answer your question if it is the chat box thank you dr gopi thank you jai murugan ji can female urine sample detect the virus <clears throat> yes it is possible but the problem is you understand uh, urethral uh, opening and cervical region is different completely different because urethra in female uh, sex organ is different and it is connected to urinary bladder and opening is just outside the vagina only you can see so the chance of viral presence in the urine in female sample is very less whereas in male the virus can present in the urine because both sperm and urine pass through a same route in the penis and the viral will survive in the penile region that's the logic behind it 
So in female, urine sample is not a right sample type for screening HPV. Thank you so much for the lovely question, Satya. Thank you, Nagma. Thank you, Sachin. So same like HPV, you can do STD disease test also because not only always HPV, there are some other bacteria like syphilis, Trypanema pallidum, uh, Chlamydia, Neisseria are very critical disease. Those tests also you can do the same method. You can do apply online. You can uh, order the test and you can do it at home because the confidentiality will be maintained. You don't need to consult any doctor. You don't need to go to any lab directly all through online. Thank you so much. So, Dr. Morgan, we have one panel also in which we are testing seven STDs in a plus additional one STD that is HPV. So, for STD, we have in, uh, like two panels which include HPV and without HPV. Yeah, yeah. So, STD panel we have one including HPV, one without HPV because the, as per the guideline says, HPV test should be done after 30 years old. Minimum 20 years old uh, above women only because the chance of getting infection is higher among the sexually active people. That is the logic behind it. But now in India, sexual activity is increased in 21, 22 itself. So the guideline has to change. Thank you so much. Hope uh, all questions are addressed. Thank you so much, uh, organizers. Thank you, Dr. Morgan, for a wonderful uh, presentation.